but although she was had so much drama going on in her life, she always found the time to put towards the African American movement to show that indeed all people are created equal, and she liked to show that in her music, which leads us to this next song we're going to sing for you. It has a very interesting history. It was originally a poem written by a Jewish poet from New York, and he later set it to music. Now, when it was brought to Billy's attention, at first she resisted um, singing this song because it reminded her so much of her father's death. Now, he was not actually lynched, but he was refused treatment at a hospital and probably would have lived if he had gotten the treatment in time. And so, of course, it stirred up a lot of racial emotions in her when she heard this song. When she finally decided to sing this song, her record label refused to allow her to do it. They did give her a release and she recorded it elsewhere. But once it was recorded, nobody wanted to play it on the radio. Nobody wanted to hear it in the nightclubs that she played in. But she refused to take it out of her repertoire and the song has since become iconic. And it, I think it's a magnificent snapshot into a very dark chapter of America's history. Southern trees bear a strange fruit, blood on the leaves, and blood at the root, black body swinging. See you. 